Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. It's another week in Mexico, and this week is a classic. The Mercedes-Benz SL65 Black Series is here. All we need to do to unlock the thing is get 20 points in the spring season, which should be pretty easy. Before we do that, I want to start up a new segment. Since it's the last week of this month's playlist, I want you to make some random guesses for the new cars coming next month. All we know is it's called the Summer Party. Put some random car guesses in the comments, and we can come back next week when the developers announce the new cars, and we can see if anybody got it right or wrong. Let's go and unlock the Black Series. I think that was our fastest time to unlock a car ever. 18 minutes later, the SL65 has been added to the garage. Oh, I'm hyped. As per usual, this wouldn't be an AR12 video without any fun facts about the Mercedes SL65 Black Series. Let's get everybody caught up to speed immediately. You know how AMG makes Mercedes faster? Well, Black Series is basically the even faster version of that. What actually makes this one insanely cool is that massive 6-liter V12 engine. This thing came out in 2009, and it's like, sort of, kind of, at least, a regular road car. Please ignore the massive wide body and the huge rear tires. Mercedes found this thing was too fast for the regular person. They had to electronically limit it to 200 miles an hour. What's actually really cool is the AMG Black Series, or like the SL Black Series, isn't actually the rarest one. And it's called the SL65 Night Edition. They only made a hundred of them. They're literally like the same car as like a regular SL65, but they're black with some special wheels. So technically, this is not the best one. And bad news though, because if you try to buy one, you're in for a bit of a surprise. A Mercedes SL65, if you want to buy one here in Canada, it will run you around $100,000, which is a little bit expensive considering the car is from 2009. But if you want a black series, ah. $650,000. Yeah. <laughs> If you bought one in 2009, congratulations, you've successfully printed money. Last but not least, the other thing that makes the Black Series a Black Series is it actually has like built-in weight reduction that removes like 500 pounds out of the regular SL to make this thing even better in the corners, which I did an awful job showcasing there. But I think we need to do some customization. I think we should start things off by trying to make this thing like an S1 class car. I feel like that'd be a good place for it. We can swap in a 6.2 liter V8, 5.2 liter V10 out of the Audi R8, and a 7.3 liter V12? Wait, that's the Zonda engine. Does it scream? <laughs> I think we're gonna make our first build a cool build, a practical build. And then our next build will be as fast as we can make it. Let's go with the 6.2 American Muscle V8. Let's go for a supercharger. I think what we will need is some grippy tires. I guess we'll go with some semi-slicks. I feel like that'd be a good place for it. And then we'll make the tires a little bit thicker in the front and in the rear. 345s! Then we've got some engine spacers. How do those look? Bring the wheels out. Nice. Let's go for some race brakes. Suspension. We've got race suspension. We've got rally suspension. I love the Mercedes SL. This is so cool. Then we'll get some much needed weight reduction. Bring it down to 3,000 pounds. That's huge. Roses are red, violets are blue. Nikki Poo has skill issues. And so do you. <laughs> All right, we're done all of our upgrades. We are S1 class, 830 horsepower. I really hope I can actually drive this thing and not just wheel spin everywhere. We will see. Should we run the Steve Jobs spec? It's not every day you get to drive an SL. We are going no license plate. Last but not least, let's check out our painting options so we can do all of the normal stuff. Silver, red, black, silver, white. Mercedes is so boring. All right, you know what? I'm gonna do something illegal. I'm gonna make this thing Nardo gray. Does that look like primer? I think that looks like primer. Let's see if we did a good job. We are in S1 class. We've got a whole bunch of supercars to challenge with the ugliest rear wings on the planet. But I am Steve Jobs. Therefore, I am better than you. Therefore, you will move out of the way. I am having a bit of trouble catching up at the moment, but that's future me's problem. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. 
It might not be that fast in a straight line, but boy, is it good in the corners. Wow, it's actually sick in the corners. Wow, it's sick in the corners. What is this? I think I built like the perfect car. It gets like the perfect amount of slide. There's a little bit of understeer. Chat says it's not the Steve Jobs spec. It's the Speed Jobs. Well done. Thanks, dad. It's so sick. The guy in first is actually running away. This is not good. Break. Superchargers. I don't care that that's a second place. That is my favorite car I have driven. Is it the fastest car I've ever made? No, far from it. Is it super nice to drive? 100%. Twitch chat's yelling at me. Switch to the V12 now. Get that awful V8 out of there. Okay, okay. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Why don't I max it out for drag racing and top speed? Let's go Pagani V12. I love that. Then all-wheel drive for all of the grip and twin turbos. We're already 900 horsepower. I want no aero for this thing. I want... Thick, fat drag tires. The only thing I need is just maximum horsepower. There's a thousand one hundred horsepower, and there's a thousand two. I don't think this engine is very good. Shout out to the two hundred and fifty thousand plays that this has. Maybe one of these days the developers will make one. I think this thing might actually get into the sevens. Let's see. Oh, first gear is very long. Second gear is very long. It might not get in the sevens. Go! Oh, an 8.3. That was good, but I think we can do a little better. We may need to take this to an impromptu tunnel run just because that sound is insane. I love it. Okay, so I messed around with the tire pressures. I still think that's an eight. I think this is going to be our final attempt. I, I genuinely do not think there's anything else we can do to our tune. Like, I'm getting perfect gear shifts and everything. It's not fast enough. I don't think it's fast enough with the upgrades we've got. It was exactly the same time. Smash. Oh. All right, so there's the top speed. You're gonna ask Nick, what happened there? <laughs> I don't know. You've waited long enough. It is time to see what this thing can actually do fully upgraded. So we are going full slick tires on this thing. Full aero spec. We are above S2 now. I do apologize that we had to toss on the ugliest rear wing known to man, but I think it's gonna be worth it. Uh, why am I racing that in S2 class? Anyways, moving on. Let's see if this... Okay. Apparently, all you need to do to beat the AI is just not break at random points. Oh my god, this feels so, like, planted, though. With the full slick tires and the full aero and the all-wheel drive, it is literally like this thing is glued to the ground. This is outrageous. Oh my god, we're actually gonna run out of gears? Oh my god, actually, we won't. We won't run out of gears. That was insane. Okay, that was pretty cool. Wait, is that a Chopin in first place? So it's literally a proper race car, then me in my clapped out Mercedes from 2009, and then a bunch of antiques who have all broken down and are no longer in the race. Nice. How can a car be so fast but so slow at the same time? Is the AI just straight up cheating again? What is this shitbox GP2 engine? What are we doing? Forza AI and GP2 engine. Don't get me wrong. It's fantastic to drive, but at the same time, also off. For some reason, every single time I look at one of these things, I think that would be a sick drift car. I mean, probably the reason they aren't is because they cost like $650,000, but we'll just gloss over that for the time being. And we're gonna go try hard again. Ditch this hideous arrow. Bye-bye. Then I need my drift suspension, which looks fantastic. I'm not gonna lie, chat. I don't think dino nuggies in a black series go hand in hand very well. I don't know why again, but recently I've been really into this drift zone. Personal best, 180,000. I'm really crossing fingers for a good result here. In we go. Come on, keep it on the road. Keep it on the road. 
It's not exactly on the road, but I kept the points going, which is kind of the whole main point. Beautiful. Up the hill. 140,000, 150,000. 180 is the personal best. Oh, so close. No! We're still cooking. Delete that tree! I actually, I actually hate this game. That was my worst attempt yet. Keep going. Up the hill. This is looking good. This is looking good. This is looking juicy. Keep going. This is it. This is it. Yes! We have cooked! I can't believe I've never made a video on this car. I'm very glad we have made one today.